Hey there, it's Jason here from One Hour Forex, and today is September 11th, 9-11. Uh, we do remember that day, that sad day, 11 years ago. Uh, anyway, uh, I just want to say I wish all the best of those that happen on, bad things happen on that day. Anyway, to move on to a more positive note here now, um, basically there was no, uh, there was no, there was no video yesterday, and there's a reason for that. Like, look, look at this, look at this mess here. Okay, wicks and sticks and giggly sticks. Uh, there's been no news. Um, I, I believe there used to be news on Mondays. Um, I don't know, about three years ago, I remember still seeing some good news on, on Mondays. Not every Monday, but, but at least two, two Mondays out of the four each month. But there's no longer news on Mondays, so they must have voted out this news because professional traders, um, you know, they basically, a lot of them leave Thursday, okay? They trade Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. Okay, and they go on to their camp or to their cottage, or they go in their private jet, the big boys, and they go to tropical islands and, you know, and they have a good time and they come back and trade the markets again. Uh, so, you know, it's been known for a long time that only professional traders trade Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So, because there's no news on Mondays, and you just never know what, you know, what will happen on, on a Friday, okay, I've now decided that I am no longer going to be shooting videos, okay, on Mondays and Fridays, okay, so, you know, my systems work good, my Forex Pipsnagger works good, the one-hour Forex works good. You know, the Forex U-turn, it kind of not worked so well. Uh, it kind of, the market changed, and that's why I stopped doing the videos for that. But anyway, uh, I just want to say in this video that from now on, I'll only be sending video setups Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, and you'll see that if you only trade those three days a week, um, you're going to have a much better chance for success. And not only that, um, you know, it's going to be less stressful for you, you know, if you if you do that, if you only trade those three uh, important days of the week. Um, you know, Mondays you can kick back, relax, you don't have to trade and get all stressed out, and that's it. Okay, so now that you know that, let's move on to the setups. Okay, so here is our 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 4 o'clock candle in the UK session right here. It basically opened up, came down, bounced off S1 almost. If not S1, then off of this level right here, okay? You can see it right here. That's where they bought off, and it shot right up. Now, we did not have an entry uh, as soon as it turned blue because it was only 6 pips from the pivot. However, once it moved up above the pivot, this is where you would have looked to get long, as if it still looked strong, and sure enough, it hit your R1, and it hit your R2. Almost hit your R3 as well, but anyway, if you stuck with it to the close, you could have got about 26, 27 pips. Okay, um, on this candle here, there is no, there's no trade, because where it's opening, okay, it's, uh, you know, it's just it's too, it's too close to the, to the 28 level and the R2. So I don't believe there was a trade there. If there was, there could have been a long trade. That means it must have opened up, came down, came back up, turned bullish, then went up, then came back down and closed here. You know, um, if that happened, then there may have been a bull, bull trade and it did not hit your target. But there is definitely no trade on the 4 o'clock candle. Okay, so here's our 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 10 o'clock candles in the U.S. session. Um, this basically rejected the pivot point, and it made almost a double bottom, and it shot up. As you can see, if you would have got long here, you would have hit your first target, 14 pips, 
your second target, which is 28, your third target, and it closed up with about 30 to 33 pips in your pocket. There was no trade on this one on the 9 o'clock. However, there was a trade on the 10 o'clock, and that was it opened up, came down, they rejected R3, came back up, turned blue, and boom, hit your 828.50 target with a 13 pip profit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the video for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow on uh, Wednesday. And like I said, once again, I'm going to repeat myself. From now on, okay, there's going to be no videos on Mondays and Fridays. Just on the key three days a week, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. When the market moves, that's when you need to make the money. Thank you for listening, and you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.